Fantasy Revolvers. That's what we'll be taking a look at today. I'm Dustin and you're watching Guns of the West. Well, here is my fantasy revolver. And by fantasy, I mean it is not a historically correct gun. It's something more or less made up for our modern time, at least for the most part. Some fantasy things about this one. It's got plastic grips, which would not be correct on an 1851 Navy like this. The frame is brass instead of steel. And you know, there were some brass guns back in the day. Uh, some of them, you know, bronze, probably more than brass, but it wouldn't be right on a really an 1851 Navy per se. Also, this is 44 caliber. Historically, it should be 36 caliber. And, you know, I'll say this though, it's not wrong to buy a fantasy gun. And the reason I said on the thumbnail, watch before you buy is because I think people are avoiding fantasy revolvers for a couple of reasons. And I think one of those reasons is solid, but the other one maybe is not so much. The one I think is solid is some people prefer a historically correct gun, and if that's the case, then this is not the way to go. I'll show you one that is the way to go, or at least one of them, you know, coming up here in a moment. But the other reason I think a lot of people stay away from these is because they get so much hate online in YouTube videos, on forums, and Facebook groups. I've even been guilty of myself, maybe, of some of that. But when I talk about not wanting fantasy guns, that's only because my personal preference is the more historically correct guns. I don't want to convey that these are bad. So if the only thing holding back, you know, holding you back from buying one of these fantasy revolvers, if you otherwise want one, is the fact that it's not historically correct, by all means, get one. Here's my real feeling on cap and ball revolvers. The main reason we own them today is to have fun. You know, generally we're not carrying something like this for self-defense. Some people might like it, you know, for hunting certain types of animals in certain parts of the world. But the main reason we buy these things is to have fun. So don't feel like you need something that's historically correct. Now again, my personal preference might be historical correctness. Here's my favorite revolver, which is also an 1851 Navy. And this is the London model and it has the blued steel back strap instead of brass. Although on a historical one, you know, having a brass trigger guard grip frame and back strap would not be incorrect, but these London ones have blued steel. This one's in 36 caliber, uh, steel frame. So that's what I personally like, but I've got to tell you this one, you know, history aside, I am falling in love with this gun. It's very nice to shoot. It's a lot of fun. And again, that's what it's all about with the cap and ball revolvers. So, you know, as they say today, you do you. You know, if you get one with brass like this, you just need to take, you know, a little more care of it because it's not as strong as steel. But they're stronger than the old ones that were, you know, maybe brass back in the day. And, you know, you can even shoot paper cartridges with them. I even now at the Guns of the West store have a toned down version of the 44 called the 44 Lite. And I know now from experience, this gun handles those, you know, just great. Or if you don't want to shoot paper cartridges, you're loading loose powder. Just remember not to max out the loads on something like this. But again, you know, I wanted you to watch this before you decide to buy or not buy one of these quote unquote fantasy revolvers because there's nothing wrong with it. It might not be my favorite, but if it's your favorite, by all means, you shoot what you enjoy. Thank you all so much for watching the video today about fantasy revolvers versus historical revolvers. Please don't forget to click that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos. And if you look in the description, you'll see where to find me on social media. And remember, whether your gun is historical or fantasy, you can have fun with both. Thank you.